So hi guys, um, I just want to show you guys how to do the bending. I think that's the main thing that we have issues with. So let's say you have your image and first things first, before you start doing your editing, I'm sure you look at the icon or there should be a small icon here. So the icon will determine whether it's a rasterized layer or it's a smart object or a smart layer instead. So this is a smart layer here, as you can see, it's a smart, um, because it's a smart object thumbnail. You could, so what you need to do for you to be able to bend things like that is to change it to a rasterized um, layer so that i can be able to tweak or uh, manipulate the pixels so for for us to do that we are going to duplicate this in order for us to have our original in case we make a mistake or something happens and we are not able to um uh, want to go back to it so we'll have like a a backup so what do you do ctrl j to duplicate that layer let's hide the one behind and then now we change this one to rasterize layer. So you right click and you go to rasterize a layer. So it's now a rasterize layer. So what you do is that you control, you, you hold on your control, control T, and you go into the transform. You right click, you go to warp, and you can begin to tweak it and bend it the way you want it. So this is how you do it. Uh, it shouldn't take you much time just do and when you're satisfied with what you are you have then you can just stop so it shouldn't be too much i think it shouldn't be too much in this case i think for me it's okay i don't need to do that much just turn it like this and i i think i am okay with this so for me this is my own bend pencil i can decide to export this as a png for illustrator so i just come i right click on the layer and i go to export quick export as png i select my directory and um i select where i want it to be so i just put it in a load and it says um, vector smart or let say pencil and it's going to be saved in png save you go to here and um sorry good so we come here we are going to be working here what do we do we import our image so let's create the whole background the whole scene for us to just have our image um placed or our pencil so we have a rectangle drawn from this place uh we're going to be using just normal i'm just picking the colors like that and um this is an image an image so if you have an this image is much better for you so we're going to be having our teacher being imported um hold contracts uh, image let's reflect this image reflect okay and uh, good good scale it out and bring it to the side it takes it back have this control here and uh let's duplicate control c control f and we send one to the back while we just see how to trigger this. So we're going to go to our radar, our radar gradient, or not radar gradient, actually, it's um, freedom or freedom gradient, kind of. So everything will be white, all the points will be white in this case, all points white, but in so place one here and in this case we we'll come to this side and reduce the opacity to about zero and we could take it here if you want to we'll add one more layer here and then something like that so this is how we have that you know that's that gradient like moving from here to here something like that then we we'll have our image our pencil which is in download we can place the pencil around here and something like that but the pencil is not looking like the pencil that we want but just for um just for editing purposes this is something that you have uh you have your text and it's called true first saw uh, we'll be using a uh, really big bold font i don't want to use monument but let's just use my style let's go to uh, black 
scale it up to the big decrease So in this case, send it to the back a little bit. We are going to be using, actually there's a gradient there. So in this case, if you want to apply a gradient on your text, and most times you just go to this gradient and you say you want to apply it, it's not going to apply, it's going to turn black. So the best way to do it is to use the appearance panel. So you go to windows, sorry, go to windows, you go to appearance and you click on it, your appearance will pop out. So what you do here is, you add a new field. So when you add a new field, it turns black. But in this case, we come to gradient and we choose our gradient. So that's where you can be able to apply our gradient on it. So come here, select this part, select the dark one and come to this side to select the one that is a little bit less, less like more brighter or something like that. Yeah, so that's how you apply it. So now for this, our shadow here, in this case, we will trace it so you see how the shadow is being casted so you could decide to do it in such a way let's use our pen tool we click here click here it's just um, this is just a random way of showing you how you could apply shadows even using gradient so in this case you come to gradient that's your linear gradient in this case and then we are going to change this guy to black everything will go to black here and then also here will be black but now for this case here is the ending part of this place so and this part is this one here so we are going to make this place much like opacity will leave the opacity to be 100 percent and we are going to decrease the opacity to be zero in this case but um we'll take it to the back first yes so that's as you can see that that's how the shadow is being casted here but it's it's a little bit blurred so you add a blur effect a gaussian blur effect in this case and i think 20 is enough for me and then we can reduce the opacity a little bit opacity a little bit yeah so it's looking like my effect is no more there okay it's there okay yeah increase it a little bit so so that's how you could add so this is just for um learning purposes i did not take my time to do much so you could just reduce it to see how you basically blend it with it and if in case you don't you can also adjust the blur by going to your direct selection tool and then click on the edge the points and then you could drag them and position the shadows to how you want it to be so this is just a simple way of how you can come about the whole design process so um if you enjoyed this tutorial you could also give it a um a like and also share it to your friends this is just a quick one for anyone who is trying to manipulate um through the 70 days uh, design challenge so this is day for d4 and then um, d5 will be coming up soon so catch you guys in the next tutorials thank you for watching